what's good YouTube it's David from Creative Ice Media Group here and I'm gonna do uh, this is basically a, uh, a series of Photoshop basics because I've been getting a lot of requests on like really basic things so uh, it's gonna be a series of five four to five videos I think and this video is gonna be dedicated on how to cut objects or people out of the background okay uh, so what you want to do uh, is open your image into Photoshop, obviously. And my example is pretty damn bad because it's a really small image. Hopefully yours will be bigger, but we deal with what we have. And basically, what, um, how to delete? There's like many ways. Like I know loads of people that like literally go to a lasso tool and like depend on that. That is wrong. Do not do that. I know a lot of people that use their razor and like start erasing a person out of the background. That's wrong. Don't do that. Uh, there's the polygon lasso tool, which isn't bad. Okay, um, it's actually quite good, actually. But again, you can do it this way. There's nothing wrong with it. Then there's the magnetic lasso tool. This is quite good if you're doing very like basic objects, like circles, squares, etc. It's not that good. Like for example, it's quite good for my back. Okay but it would not be good for my hair. Uh, it could be good for my hair, I guess, but only because my hair is quite neat there, but normally it's quite messy. But I don't recommend using magnetic glass at all. What I recommend is using the pen tool. You might be like, what, pen tool? This is all crazy. But, uh, yeah, so you want to click on your pen tool and make sure your settings like mine. So I have this checked, this checked, and this checked, okay? And auto add delete. Uh, personally I don't know what these settings are I very briefly know what they are but I just know it works like this so what you want to start you want to actually zoom in quite well okay and I'm going to be straight up serious with you guys cutting the person out of a background is very boring but what you want to do using your pen tool uh, you can click everywhere also what you can do is click and drag a bit so it gives you a nice curve okay click and drag click and drag click and drag click and drag okay and now what I want to do is join up okay then right click mark selection uh, feather radius feather radius um, you know what let's do a feather radius of one one pixel okay um, Oh god, not 1.1. Um, one pixel only because uh, got an email. Yeah, um, only because it's a really small image. If it's a really big, big image, like I'm talking like a couple thousand pixels, uh, they're a bit higher. But feather radius one. And then uh, just hit delete. Okay, it will give you a white background, um, which isn't good. So what we do is unlock the layer. Press OK and hit delete again and it will give you a transparent layer press control D or command D to deselect and as you can see feather radius kind of gave us like this um, soft background which still gives us a bit of the green but it's okay because we're going to fix it up later so I'm just going to do a really really quick hopefully quick because um, I actually can't stand cutting things out um, Oops. Uh, you know, favorite is just zero actually. For this quick example, um, then I'm gonna move on to my hair. This is also, I guess, this tutorial could also be um, on how to make selections of. Um, items because making a selection out of an item is pretty important in Photoshop uh, so yeah it's very boring very boring very boring oh look at the nice green grass look there's a flower guys <laughs> so cool aren't I watch everyone comment be like no you freak um, okay and I'll just join that up 
mark selection, press OK, hit delete, control D, command D, sorry. Um, now I have a little spot there. Okie dokie. Almost done, guys. Are you excited as I am? This is gonna be pretty. This is gonna be a really bad selection, only because um, I'm rushing. Oh, stop there. Oh, that was a bad one. Um, control D. Oh, this is pissing me off. It's one thing I don't like. But oh my days! This one thing I don't like about Matt. Oh my diddy dots on the really dots. You know, I just do it like that. Um, mine's gonna be really rushed. I'm gonna tell you guys to take it to time. Um, this is when you use your lasso tool. Okay, this is the only time that you use your lasso tool. You're gonna right click, use lasso tool. All you do is basically, as you can see, just delete that again. Oh god, guys, I missed a spot. So you know what, with last tool I can quickly do that. Don't do it like this, guys, I'm just doing this because I really can't be bothered. Um, oh yeah, and I missed a spot there, didn't I? So, to be honest, last tool can be used for little things like this, but I don't recommend it. Because it's so minor. It doesn't have to be that accurate. Okay, now you have this. Oh god, I missed a spot again. How did I not see that? Oh, I know why. Haha, <laughs> fascinating. Okay. Oh, this is really annoying me now. Just hit a quick one. Alright. I think you guys can tell I don't like this. Alright. Um. So now, I have my person out of a background. Well, this is me, guys. Say hi. <laughs> Alright, but remember we still have this green, slightly green. If we let it zoom in, you can see that green of the grass, okay? Especially on my head. So what we do is hold control on a PC or command on a Mac. Press and hold that. And hover your mouse over the layer. Layer image thumbnail preview. And you'll notice you've got a hand of a running ants um, box. So just click on the layer. As you can see, it just made a selection of the actual layer. Yeah. Now, what we do is go to uh, select, um, modify, and we do contract. We're going to do contract by two pixels, perhaps. Okay. And can you see, it just went into the image a bit. Uh, two pixels might be just a bit too much for me because it's a really small image but you depends on your image size now click your lasso tool right click on the image select inverse and just hit delete press ctrl d or command d to deselect and now if I zoom into my head the greenness is gone you see that and now a good way to test if you've done it well I'm worried on this test because I actually think I didn't do well but just paint in the background. Hey, it's not even that bad. Oh, look at my hood all camouflaged. But yeah, that's basically how you cut someone out of the image. Um, thanks for watching, I guess. It's a long, boring process, but it's something you guys need to know. Um, take your time. Practice makes perfect. As you can tell, I really don't like this. Um, I don't do it a lot. I'm more into the creative design part. But yeah, it's something you need to know. So thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, register on cimg.co.uk if you want to like submit your own tutorials. Because I know I have quite a bit of people that make tutorials that watch me. Um, or if you have any interesting design news, register. You can post it up there. Um, and check out cmg.co.uk follow me on twitter link will be in the sidebar add me on facebook facebook <laughs> facebook um link will be in the sidebar again and i think that's it i'm gonna try and make the other video i'm just gonna basically what i'm trying to do is make all the videos tonight um and basically 
I'm not going to upload them all at once because that will like, annoy all my subscribers because they'll have like only me in the subscription box. I'm going to upload two every day because I'm going to be busy all week. So I'm just going to try and make them all night today. No sleep for me. No sleep. But yeah. Peace.